Hi, my name is David Krentz. I was a character designer on Walking with Dinosaurs 3D. Today, we're going to talk about my all-time favorite dinosaur, and that is Gorgosaurus. Gorgosaurus is an earlier version of T-Rex. So, if that was T-Rex, Gorgosaurus would be about that big next to it. Much smaller, but it was a really fast, really agile, it was like the cheetah of the Cretaceous. To start off, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the kind of shapes uh, that were involved. Gorgosaurus has the typical Tyrannosaurus skull. It has these two little horns over its eyes. Tight, tight S-curve bird kind of neck. The long oval for the body. It's beautiful S-curve tail. I'm really quite long, graceful legs. So those are the basic shapes, the real nuts and bolts of it. Um, but now we can kind of look further into the anatomy and, and uh, pull the character out of that. And, and create what Gorgosaurus is really all about. This is the head of a, of a T-Rex, and this whole, all these holes that happen in the skulls are all filled with great big biting muscles that wrap from the inside up into here to give it a nice big The eyeball goes right in here. Tyrannosaurs are famous for their tiny little arms. That's a tiny little arm. That's about as big as my arm. And you add that on top of the shape of the rib cage. That's a pretty good indicator of the scale of the animal we're talking about here. And we know from fossil evidence that they had very long hip bones, very long ilium, uh, to attach very powerful running muscles, very powerful leg muscles. The best reference you can get for the muscles in the thigh is uh, go buy yourself a fried chicken and dissect that. It is really that close. Imagine holding up a chicken drumstick this big. Imagine that drumstick being this big. Imagine the size of the tendon on that drumstick. And that's all so it gives the dinosaur a lot of spring in its step. If you look at the feet of an emu, that's a pretty good example of what uh, theropod or meat-eating dinosaur feet looked like. Gorgosaurus, in particular, we gave him these kind of these dermal spines going down the midline of his body. There are some skin samples of Gorgosaurus or uh, Albertosaurus, a very, very close relative, that show little polygonal scales uh, from a piece of the tail. For the most part, scientists don't know what color dinosaurs were. With Gorgosaurus in particular, it gave him this beautiful blue color with this iridescence and uh, as a character, it was extremely striking, and it was really clearly the way to go. Now looking back at my light source, I'm just going to put this up here and see where all the light's falling. And block in my shadows. There you go. There's our Gorgosaurus.